Students at Desert View High School went home today after someone threatened to blow up the school. Administrators quickly cleared the building and sent students home for the day, but some parents were not happy with the little information they say the school released. And Aaron Brackett is live with the latest. Aaron. Yeah, and as you can see behind me, Desert View does look pretty vacant. This is how it looked a lot of the day, though, after students were sent home and class was canceled throughout the second half of the day. Now, parents are speaking out about the school, about how the school handled the evacuation. This was the scene late this morning outside of Desert View High. Students and faculty waited in the late April sun while Tucson police searched the inside of the school. According to the Tucson police, not long after the school started, a bomb threat was found taped to a wall. An evacuation announcement was made to over 2,000 students and faculty. Freshman William Phoenix was in PE class when an announcement came over the loudspeaker. So then we all went out to the field behind in the back and we just pretty much sat there for two hours. Um, people just started like leaving, whatever, just getting by the teachers. I don't know how they did, but they managed to get by them. But then after a while, um, we just got said the bus is over there or walk home. Couldn't stay on campus anymore. Uh, so we just left. According to Mary Varis of the Sunnyside School District, TPD said it would take four to six hours to completely clear the building. So instead of keeping the kids outside, the decision was made to release students for the day. Esther Sherrill has a daughter in ninth grade at Desert View. She didn't want to appear on camera, but says the school's evacuation procedure needs work. There was nobody out there telling the kids, you need to get on these other buses. You know, and I'm like, it's a secure campus, a closed campus. How are kids able to walk off campus? You know, the evacuation process, yeah, they, they need to rethink it. Because my daughter's telling me, you know, kids were jumping over the, the fence. Nine Your Side got a call from another angry parent saying they didn't get a message either. But Sunnyside administrators say their messaging system contacted 2,200 parents and families, letting them know of the evacuation. Now, it's important to remember that paging systems like this only work if they have your correct phone number. And unfortunate events like this serve as a reminder that you want to keep that information current with your child's school if you want to receive future alerts. Reporting on the South Side tonight, Aaron Brackett, Kiga 9 on Your Side. All right. Thank